going on guys? Fire in the VTA wheels. And we're here today to install the Peasant Design key brace. It's gonna go right there. And these you can see I've already got the uh, nut plates in the uh, frame rails. We're here with Mr. Edo. Hi. And we are at Al Tazmora in Musafa M M10. M10? Yeah, and Musafa M10. Yeah. We're here in Musafa M10. Yeah. And we've got it up on the lift. We're going to go ahead and knock this out for you guys real quick. I'm going to take you through how it goes. It's going to sit up. Nope, this it's is the wrong like size. This. Yeah. It's going to sit up just like this. It's going to mount up like that. Uh, We're going to put the nut, space the holes here. into the nut plate here. There's a spacer that fits right here so that this will stay in the neutral position, which is where we want it. And uh, we'll get going, and as we go, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take the video and show you guys how to do it step by step. All right, guys, so we're going in. Now that it's snugged up, we're going to torque this 66 foot pounds and we're going to torque these at 25 foot pounds. That is your torque. Alrighty, we're going to hit it and we'll be right back with you. Good to go. Now we're just going to move on to the other side. What's your name? I'm sorry. Mohammed Ibrahim. Say hello to ETA Wheels. Say hello to the world, guys, from Abu Dhabi. Installation is going to be the same for the left side. We're going to go ahead and do that now. We'll see you in a few minutes. So now we're going to go ahead and line this up. This is the spacer that controls the preload. This is what you want for daily driver. If you're going to use a track only, you remove the spacer and it'll put a preload on the cradle. So this is the way you want to do it. It's right here. I've got that.
So now, as you can see here, Mr. Muhammad is getting the uh, nut and the uh, washer up on the top. And then we're going to go ahead and drive that bolt in through, line everything up, and uh, then we'll go ahead and get some torque. Right, guys we're gonna have to set it back down we're gonna have to adjust where this is um, set up right now so you can see it's interfering with it but um, as you can see we've got it more or less in position uh, not too difficult I am gonna be trimming uh, just looking at it looking at how it sits I'm gonna be trimming about an inch off of this I'm gonna be trimming it right a quarter inch below this well. Okay guys, we're back. So we had to adjust uh, where the pad was briefly. We're gonna go ahead and get this one installed. Again, these are gonna be 25 foot pounds and this is gonna be 66 foot pounds. All right. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of love. Just a little love, and now we're going to go ahead.
All right, guys. And that is all there is to it. Other than trimming one inch off of here, because I think this is going to interfere with the ground clearance. I think it's a little bit too long. Um, I've talked to Aaron, and he's told me that they have changed the design. It's a lot shorter on the new ones. This is one of the first ones to come out, and um, so you guys get to see it. But we're just going to whack an inch off of here, and we're going to whack an inch off of here. And we should have zero issues whatsoever with ground clearance, but I can see that that's definitely going to cause an issue here in Abu Dhabi with the uh, speed bumps. But the benefit to this is that all of this is tied in much more rigidly. You can see here, it's kind of like an extra point of contact for the cradle. Just ties everything in and it should keep it nice and firm. And uh, once again, this is Byron the DTA wheels. Y'all are now a little bit smarter. So for you guys at home, if you have a look straight down the side, you'll notice that you don't see these hanging down below anything else now, which is exactly where we want it to be. So this is one inch off of here, one inch off of that side. And now you can see it's, it's just about perfect. This is not gonna create any ground clearance issues whatsoever. And for those of you uh, watching at home, they have updated it the new designs have a shorter uh, tube on the back side of it, so you shouldn't have to do this with the future models. So, this is Byron at ETA Wheels. Once again, we're here in Alpasora in Musafa M10 in Abu Dhabi. You're now just a little bit smarter.